my regular oh, right. So we just wanted to welcome you all to the opening, the grand opening for a whole long list of new downtown Minneapolis bikeways. So we're going to start out here at the gateway of Loring Park at 15th and Lindale. So what we ended up with was not only what we hope to be a much better intersection for both bikes and pedestrians, but a real gateway to this park which it never had over the years. It directs you off the bike lane onto a wider shared facility and then you use a crosswalk. Brilliant! And it's simple, it works. We're painting that crosswalk green and we're also widening it out. A year ago, Bicycling Magazine, I think, shocked the nation when they declared Minneapolis to be the number one bicycling city in the nation. And I have to admit that back then I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe so, but I, I questioned their judgment just a little bit. I can tell you today, I no longer question that, that decision. And then we're going to continue down 15th Street, where we will continue on the 15th, 16th, and 14th Street bikeway. Um, on 14th, we have some new advisory bike lanes that we're featuring and highlighting. These are called advisory bike lanes, yeah. And all we did is we just took out that center stripe. You can see where we ground it out, and then we just added lines, just dashed lines, though. You know, you don't have a, enough room for both travel lanes and bike lanes, so what was done? You, the center stripe was eliminated, and this is again, Sean Murphy's brilliant. He went to Europe, he saw this being done everywhere. He said, why can't we do this here in Minneapolis? Mendot said, oh, I, okay, you've got, you've got dash, dash lines for the bike lanes. People are in the bike lanes next to the park lane. There's no center stripe, so again, cars kind of, they get around the bikes, they pass them carefully, they have to share that space. It works. Then we're going to head north on 11th Avenue, catch up to the uh, new Hiawatha LRT trail connection. And we also have the extension of the Hiawatha trail that you'll see today. Um, very neat. You know, you used to have to go through that parking lot. Now you've got, we've got great retaining wall. That um, many bikers know you were used to, you used to take the Valspar parking lot. That then goes into the 3rd Street bike lanes continue on the third street bikeway um, and end at the central library. Um, this is a great example of, uh, of, of partnerships um, that really have worked. A uh, partnership between the federal government that actually provided the, the funds to make, the, make a lot of these improvements happen that we're administering through the Transit for Livable Communities, the Bike Walk Twin Cities program partnership with the city of Minneapolis. So I am one of these people that the bike community wants to get to ride. And when you get people like me to ride, we become advocates. And so I'm really delighted to be here today because I'm now a true believer as well. One path leads to another and it leads to another and it creates a momentum in our city that bikes are equal to pedestrians and cars. This is the kind of momentum we need to continue. Just uh, bike and walk as much as you can, even if it's just a few blocks to the local store, just go for it.